Hey everyone, it's Tammy at Tam's Creative Corner again here to attempt my third Dutch pour in true Tammy style with a little bit of sparkle and a whole lot of resin. So I hope you enjoy. I'm working on a prepped birch cradle board. And I have mixed Floetrol, white acrylic paint, and a little bit of water to create this that I use to cover the entire surface of my board before moving on to my colors. Once I have that white acrylic combo spread out all over my board, I take my culinary torch and just pop any bubbles that have occurred during mixing. And now I choose four colors that I want to mix into my paint. And I've gone with a teal, a burnt sienna mixed with copper, a magenta, and a lavender. And then you can see that I surrounded my colors with more of the white acrylic mixture before using my hair dryer to blow the white over the color, which then creates these beautiful cells. And in true Tammy fashion, I can't leave well enough alone. So I start manipulating the painting, adding in more of the colors that I liked. And then you'll see that I'm using a big straw to blow things around and uncover some of those colors that are underneath. I'll make sure I link the supplies below in the description so that you can see what I used in this project. This is only my third attempt at using this Dutch technique using the hair dryer. So you can see I'm just doing a lot of experimenting here and playing and trying to discover a style and composition that I like. Going in with my little culinary torch just helps some more cells come to the surface. Again, I'm just trying to see what I like what the paint does under the heat and how it works when I move it around. Don't forget to stop and take a few deep breaths because I was getting really lightheaded during this process and realized I need to take a break. So this is where I left it to dry before I started to add a little bit of glitz and a whole lot of resin. If you watched my videos or followed me on Instagram, you know I love to add a little bit of sparkle to almost everything I do. So I add a little bit of glitter glue, I let it dry, and then I move on to our final clear coat of art resin. Once I get the top covered, I like to go ahead and resin the sides too. It helps give it a finished look and seal in the paint because as you can see, there's those drips over the side that I love and I want to preserve those under my resin too. And then going in with my culinary torch, I'm just popping all those pesky little bubbles that develop when you stir your resin. And here's my final results. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. That really helps me out a lot and lets me know to keep making these videos for you. Happy creating, everyone. I appreciate you all so much. Have a great day.